Hello, welcome back, Science Geniuses. I am the Bald Science Guy, and this is another one-click science video that you can use at your house or in school or anywhere you need to with your mobile device. Today we're going to be talking about how heat travels through conduction, convection, radiation. Also, we're going to be talking about energy transformations. Let's jump right into it. As you can see here, I've got conduction, radiation, and convection. All three describe heat transfer. Heat transfer and heat transfer. It's just the method in which they do so. For example, conduction is all about heat transfer from touching. Okay. Remember in class, we can put our hands on the cold tabletop and that heat transferred from your hand to the cold tabletop. It's no different than a frying pan at the house on the stove. The heat is going to transfer from the stove to the frying pan. That is conduction. When you cook using a frying pan, cook an egg, whatever, that is conduction. All right? Conduction is heat transfer by touching. In class, we actually put a beaker on a hot plate and we cooked popcorn. Okay? Radiation is heat transfer by waves of energy. For example, this could be the sun and those waves coming down to the earth's surface. It also could be a campfire and that heat coming off the campfire in a side motion, okay? Not upward, radiation is all about side, all right? The waves coming off from the side. Now convection is heat transfer in an upward motion, all right? If you remember the hand signal for convection, all right? Warm air, warm water rises, cools off, density and gravity is going to allow those particles to drop back down, okay? So quick recap, conduction, heat transfer by touching, conduction by touching. Radiation is by waves, could be the sunshine, could be the waves from a fire or fireplace, could also be from a microwave oven. We cooked popcorn using a microwave in class, okay? And convection, all right, is the rising of warm air or liquids. We also cooked popcorn using a convection air popper. If you recall, we cooked popcorn three ways in class. Beaker, microwave, and a hot air popper, okay? three ways that heat can travel. Heat also travels from hot surfaces to cold. Doesn't matter if it's in Texas, Oklahoma, Mexico, Alaska, Argentina, Angola, India, every country all around the world, heat is gonna travel the same three ways and it's always gonna go from hot to cold. Always moves from warm to cold. For example, it could go I think in class we talked about warming up a potato. Maybe you pull a potato out of the microwave and it's 80 degrees, okay? And you set it beside another potato that is 60 degrees Celsius. That thermal energy is going to move from the 80 degree potato to the 60 degree Celsius potato. It's just going to work that way because that's science and that's how we describe it. Okay. Oh, hey, one more thing about convection. Somebody said, Mr. Gray, what if you boil water? I don't know if you can see my arrows on here, okay? But if I was boiling water, that water that's moving in my pan is going to create a convection motion, a motion where the warmest water on the very bottom is going to rise to the top. See, uh, see my warm arrow there? It's rising to the top. Some of that heat's going to escape, and the cooler, it's only one degree cooler, half a degree cooler, maybe two, that cooler water goes to the bottom, warms up, rises back to the top of the pan, all right, one degree, maybe two degrees cooler, maybe a half, comes back down. There is definitely a motion of boiling water. If you don't believe me, boil some noodles at the house, but before you put the noodles in, look at that water. 
put some oil in, you'll see that water churning. Okay. Hey, the last one is energy transformation. And I remember this project that we did, if you recall, we drew out, yes, we drew out conduction, convection, radiation. Okay. But we also drew out three examples. I'm going to give you a couple real quick that maybe you did. Uh, I'm going to draw a Jeep out very quickly. Now, if you can't draw, and I don't think I draw very well, but if you can't draw, add a label, right? Now you know it's a Jeep. Okay, my Jeep is gonna use some gas, all right? And it's gonna go forward, all right, in a forward motion. That's how I would describe that in little kid school or elementary school. We know now we can describe this transformation of energy as a form of chemical energy, right? The gas is described as chemical energy, and it's going to transform into mechanical energy. Chemical to mechanical, because the mechanical, mo mechanical energy is nothing more than a secondary way that we're going to describe motion. One more quick example. Let's say um, I'm thinking of uh, UNT because they have those big turbines, right? And let's say I've got that turbine and that turbine, that propeller, all right, that blade is going to be spinning, okay? Just like that. And let's say the wind is pushing the, uh, the blade. That is gonna start off the wind moving, the air particle, I'm sorry, the wind moving, the air particles, all right, is gonna start off mechanical because the wind is moving. And that turbine, we know from the last unit, is gonna be generating electricity. There we go. So this turbine is gonna be using mechanical energy to transform or generate electrical energy. Okay, all right. Uh, so in summary, there's three ways that heat can travel. We know it always travels from hot to cold, okay? And transformation of energy is one way that we are going to describe, all right, how energy is going to change forms. Energy is not lost. Energy is not created. We talked about that in class with Newton's cradle, okay? Um, oh, one more thing. Don't forget, a lot of you guys went home with the flavored tea, all right? And you burned the bag, and it rose up in the air, and the ashes cooled off and came back down, okay? That's just another convection example. Um, I would say... That was easy. Incredibly. So easy that a bald guy uh, can, do, uh, can do this lesson. If you have any questions, come see me for tutoring. Uh, I'd love to help you. Otherwise, uh, go back through this. Use YouTube to, uh, to help you out uh, if you're tired of my voice or these pictures aren't making any sense.